What's up, everybody? John Hammond here again, and bringing you more content from the last CTF uh, capture the flag competition. Next challenge I was looking at was easy symbols, and the prompt here was force, course, horse, nor source, horse. What does this mean? And the flag was not in the last CTF format. I have already solved this challenge, um, but I just want to demonstrate how I did it. I got this easy text file, and I stored that in a easy symbols uh, folder in my last CTF folder, and just saved that there. I can replace what I have. And uh, Sublime Text, I opened it up, took a look at it, and it went over to that folder. And it was easy text, and I'd just get this ampersand and exclamation point stuff. And I was wondering what this was. I looked at it, and I was like, okay, are these logical operators? Um, is this some sort of esoteric programming language that's supposed to be able to translate this into, like, ASCII characters or something? I looked at these, and I literally Googled for a while, like, programming languages, um with like ampersands, exclamation points, etc, etc. Um, I never did, really got anything and didn't particularly know what programming language, programming language would actually do this. So I tried to look around if these were like logical operators. I couldn't do this in Python since it doesn't really like those operators if they were logical operators, but that would make no sense to see something like an ampersand, ampersand, ampersand. I've never seen that. Or like a exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation. it's not like it's not, not, not. Would this be like result in a, a Boolean? Would it result in zeros and ones that I would put together like a binary value and then just create a number or a letter? I didn't know. So I just kept poking around. It took me maybe five minutes or so until I actually looked again at the hint. If I took a look at, what did it say here? The flag shouldn't have spaces. Okay, well, that didn't help. But then I actually just looked at force, course, horse, norse, at source, and torse. I was wondering what that meant, if it had have anything to actually do with it. So I went ahead and Googled that, and then I looked at, oh, rhyme forces. Okay. Rhyming course. Rhyming zorse. Course, blah, blah, blah. And then I saw Morse. I saw right in the rhyme zone, oh, yeah, all of this stuff rhymes with Morse. Morse code, of course. That makes sense. So I took up a uh, Morse to plain text converter. I don't have any code written for this, but I figured, okay, I can just use something online. That doesn't really matter. Um, and I tried to look for one, like, back and forth. I'm trying to find the one that I had used earlier. Oh, yeah, I used this one. And I converted the text to uh, Morse code to text. And it was just a matter of putting this easy text into something that was actual Morse code. Because normally, if I try to, try to put this in, it's supposed to be like a dot slashes. That's the way they expected it. So, yeah, see, that would output two question marks. They don't know what it is. So what I did is I opened up idle and just took this string... All of the stuff, and what I did is I replaced all of the like ampersands with a dot, like it should, and I replaced all of the exclamation points with a dash. And then I got this, and I figured, okay, this might be the Morse code that it's asking for. Tried that and got nothing. Oh, oh, whoops, whoopsies. At least something that didn't look like a flag. So I tried to submit that, and it didn't work. So then I went back and figured, well, I just have, must have these in the wrong order. I'll just have to replace um, the current string that I'm working with to something else. If we could just replace the ampersands with the exclamation point and the ampersands and the exclamation point with an ampersand. Just like flipping them. Because you just had to choose whether what represented what. And this made more sense. I knew I, knew I saw more dashes in most Morse code stuff than period. So I put that in, and now I have Morse was cool. <laughs> That's obviously the flag. I went ahead and submitted that and got us a 20 point point. So, yeah. Easy enough. Real simple. Uh, again, Morse code. You just kind of had to figure it out and decipher it for a little bit, which I was able to get done. So, thanks for watching, guys. Easy stuff. See you in the next video.